Hi guys, Josh here, and Michelle, and we are Adventures, Adventures Ahead. Ahead, and today we are going to be talking about a topic that's maybe a little controversial, but Vloggers. Alas, we're, yeah, we're still going to talk about it. <laughs> Vloggers. Are they good or bad for cruising? Yeah. So, I think, so, from what I read, John Heald doesn't really put a lot of stock into vloggers. From what I hear, or from what I read and from what I hear, I don't know, I really don't know how much, like, the big corporations put into vloggers. I know they probably don't mind them, because uh, at the end of the day, um, people are watching that and deciding maybe if they want to go on a cruise or not. Yeah. And some vloggers, I'm just saying some, uh, na not naming any names, but they do a lot of negative content because that's what gets them views. Sensationalized. That's right. So there's a lot of that out there where it can turn someone's opinion of something, even though they haven't even done it themselves. They just go by what their favorite vlogger or what this person said right. in the video. Right. Right? Mm hmm So... I don't know. I mean, what do you think on this, Michelle? I think, uh, just like you said, like, some some folks, right, like in every industry, uh, sensationalize negative things about cruising. But the question is, are vloggers good or bad for cruising? I think, overall, vloggers do help cruising. I mean... I think it helps bring to light like some of the real things that are going on. So the like, pros and cons, if you will. Um, and, uh, you know, what's good and what's bad. And sometimes I think that helps the cruise lines know what to work on, too. Right, right. I don't, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know personally if they actually watch these vlogs right. and things like that or pay attention. John Heald always kind of makes light of... Like, for Carnival, he always makes light of a guy sitting in his basement in Cleveland, Ohio. Yeah. Typing, doing a video. You know, he always kind of makes that joke. Um, but I overall think vlogging's good. Obviously, me and Michelle vlog. We do things like that. I do think the cruise news can get a bit out of hand at times. Yeah. Um, and sometimes they just kind of just are looking for any kind of a story to put out because that's their content. You know what I mean? I mean, that's not me crapping on them or anything. That's just what their content is. It's like the regular news. Right. So they're just basically looking for anything to say. And who knows? I mean, I don't I mean they might report it as is or they might, you know, sensationalize it a little bit. Yeah. Um, but. I mean, there's nothing wrong with doing a video or a vlog and giving your honest opinion on things. No, I don't there's think nothing. So. And if it if it, it does happen to be good, that's good. If it does, if you had a bad experience, I don't think there's anything wrong with saying that. No, I mean, let's be real, right? Like, mm -hmm. not every experience is going to be rainbows and unicorns. There's also th something I would say: you do have to be uh, when you watch videos. You do have to be cautious because sometimes uh, vloggers do get things like free and different things and they might be giving it like maybe a favorable review because they did receive it for free. Um, I, I, I'm Like I said, I don't have anybody off the top of my head or anything. Right. But I'm just saying this has happened. Um, Today, so, like Josh and I, we haven't received any like sponsorship or anything like that. Um, and I think the right thing to do is if you do receive something like that, you should say that in right. your video. You should definitely be honest and you should tell them, like, I got this for free or I got this. Because I think that matters, you know. Um, and still be very honest about the product. Yeah, absolutely. I agree with you. Yeah, but I overall think that vloggers are good for the cruise industry. I would like to hear what people in the industry think of it. I don't know if... Like I said, I don't know if the vloggers are taken super serious or not by people high up in the cruise industry. I mean, I seriously doubt it. I wouldn't think so either. But they do have a lot of voice. I mean, look at our channel and we have a lot of voice. I think so. Like, and we're not, you know, we're not big at all, we're our not channel. Anybody. Right. Yeah, right. And we, people still listen to what we got to say. So yeah. some of the more influence, maybe they do. I don't know. Right. What I would say is, like, you know, always when you're watching anything, 
Make sure you're forming your own opinions about stuff. Right. And I think sometimes people can be ultra influenced by just by people they watch mm-hmm. all the time. And um, that I think can those form are going to look opinion. out sometimes. Yeah. But, you know, form your own. Yeah, yeah. Experience it yourself. That's what I always say. We do do videos and we give our opinions if it was good or bad. But I think I always try to convey try it yourself. Well, and everybody's experience looks different. Every, right. Everybody's perspective is a little and different. And then on a cruise, like, if you go eat a meal, and then your favorite vlogger or whatever says, this food is really bad, don't eat here. Well, like, I think that's too much of a blanket statement. Because, like, if you went, you might enjoy it. So, I wouldn't base it off that. I mean, you can take all the all the information and, you know, and know it going into it. But I'd still say try it yourself. Absolutely. And oh, with other, with even with other cruise lines and different things like that. Like if, or if a different cabin type. If you're looking into it and then you see somebody had a bad review on that cabin type. Well, that might not be the cabin for them, but you might enjoy it. Mm-hmm. So those are the type of things you kind of got to think about. But overall, cruise vloggers, I think, are good for the cruise community. Absolutely. Because it helps people out with information. Yeah, I agree. And for ports and stuff, too. I mean, obviously. Yeah, yep. I mean, that's why we do our channel. Yeah, yep. That's why we... And we like to have fun in our vlogs as well. So, yeah, yeah. Yep. I'll show you there's lots of different ways to cruise. And we've always been real and never... Well, we try. Right, and never tried to be fake or anything, so... Okay, guys, we will talk to you later. Anything else you want to say? Oh, like, comment, subscribe. And join our Facebook cruising group, Adventures Ahead cruising group. Yes. Have a lot of fun over there. Yes, we do. Okay, guys, talk to you later. Bye. Bye.